Hi, my name is Navi, this is Karlik of Astrology, and let's talk about how to survive our Saturn return. Um, and let's start from the beginning. What is Saturn and what is a Saturn return? Saturn is um, a planet in astrology. It rules over uh, Capricorn, and um, that's easier to associate if you think about the Capricorn energy and uh, skills and positive and negative traits. <clears throat> Saturn is the planet of karma, time, responsibilities, limitations, harsh realities, accountability, honesty, and uh, truth, uh, difficult, harsh truth. And uh, Saturn is very connected with hard work and the consequences of the hard work. Um, so... Saturn is also connected with time. Uh, Saturn is a slow-moving planet, and Saturn is a very long-term strategic thinker, and it's about long-term investing and lo our uh, the long game. Uh, it's about being patient and stubborn and consistent and uh, reaching your goals after time because you have put it um because you've you've put energy and effort and 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 um a lot of hard work into this that's why you're going to get it um saturn is mastery over time saturn is the authority figure it's the master it's the professor it's the um boss it's the uh, uh, master of of something of, of of the craft of uh the the industry of the team for example for a professor so this doesn't happen quickly saturn is not quick energy it's not uh, <laughs> it's definitely not a quick uh, quick and easy energy to deal with and as we've talked about, it's very karmic. You cannot become the master of something in two days. You need to put effort, time, and consistency. And you need to keep the faith up. You need to be positive and to be optimistic that this will happen for you. You can do this over time. You will become the master of this. Um, it's, Saturn is connected with karma also. Saturn, it's my favorite thing. I, I always say it when I talk about Saturn, that Saturn, de Saturn delays, but it never forgets. Because Saturn is a slow-moving energy, so it's not going to be quick and, and easy. Um, but Saturn is very karmic. Uh, <clears throat> it only gives you what you need. Not what you want, what you need. Saturn gives you what you need. So... Um, what is a Saturn return? A Saturn return is a period of time when Saturn takes about 29 years to move across all the uh, um, zodiac signs. So it stays in one zodiac sign for about two and a half, three years. For example, Saturn is currently in Pisces. And the period of time that Saturn is going to stay in Pisces is two and a half, three years. Uh, why am I saying that? Because Saturn has a period of always, a few months of a retrograde period that it goes back to the previous zodiac sign that he was in, that Saturn was in. So the Saturn return, it takes, Saturn it takes 29 um, years to, approximately 29 uh, years to move into, uh, so a Saturn return, is Saturn going in to the house that you have your Saturn nat natally? So, for example, at uh, this uh, time, currently, Saturn is, is in Pisces. So, everybody who has n in their natal chart Saturn in Pisces are going to experience the, their Saturn return. Um, we have... Uh, we have two or three, if we're lucky, Saturn returns. Um, the first one is when Saturn, the first Saturn return is when we are 29, 30 years of age. So Saturn comes back 
<laughs> That's why it's Saturn return because Saturn goes back to um, the zodiac sign that uh, the same zodiac sign in the same house that we have our natal Saturn. So, for example, if I have Saturn in Pisces in my first house, currently now Saturn is going uh, going into Pisces. Currently, in Saturn is in Pisces. So uh, Sat my Saturn return is going to start when Saturn enters Pisces in the first house, my first house. Uh, so this Saturn return, as we've talked about, uh, it's, the period is two and, a, two and a half, three years, with a period of time that is a retrograde period for Saturn. So Saturn is retrograding uh, in uh, the sign that he is, and sometimes uh, most of the times he goes, he's retrograde in the previous sign that he was in. So, uh, the second Saturn return, as we've talked about, it takes Saturn approximately 29 years to go around. So, we are going to experience our second Saturn return. Uh, the first one we were, it started when we were 29, and then 29 plus 29, because it takes Saturn 29 years <laughs> to, to move. Our second Saturn return should start approximately around when we were around uh, 59. We are 58, 59. And uh, if we're lucky, we and uh, uh, if we're lucky, uh, we may get to have a third second Saturn return uh, that uh, we are going to be. Uh, 58, 59, plus 29 years. Um, and that, then we are going to experience, experience our third Saturn return. Not a lot of people <laughs> are having that uh, third uh, Saturn return. Uh, and we're going to talk about how to survive the Saturn return. Why? The Saturn return has a very... Uh, strong reputation, I think, in, in astrology. Usually, uh, I've, heard, I've heard some jokes that you don't trust people uh, before their first Saturn return. They're not really adults. <laughs> so you cannot trust um, the people before their first Saturn return. And um, why is it such... Um, why, is it the, why does it... Why the Saturn return? especially the first Saturn return, has such a huge uh, reputation. Um, I think it's because it's the first time that we are going through a Saturn return for when we are 29, 30 years of, of age. And uh, this is the Saturn return period is the period where Saturn comes in and it's giving a lot of challenges and difficulties. Why? Saturn is the planet that is associated with reality. So when Saturn returns into your, when you're experiencing your Saturn return, uh, you're going to get a lot of harsh realities. You will be shown if you have projects that are not for you. If you have a job, if you are in a job that it's not for you, if you are with a person that you're not supposed to be, uh, you are in friendships that are you, you have outgrown them, for example, or are not good for you. So a Saturn return period, it's a very karmic period. Saturn is connected with karma and time. So whatever you have built so far uh, for 29, 30 years, you, the Saturn return period is a period where you are pushed to go back to yourself. So if you are in a job that is not aligned with yourself, if you're the person that is, you're not aligned with, uh, if you're pretending to be somebody you're not, if you are uh, not on your path and go in life, then Saturn may push you a lot uh, during your Saturn return. A lot of, for a lot of people, it's a time of building very solid foundation because Saturn is also foundations. 
So Saturn, during the Saturn return, a lot of major changes may happen because um, our Saturn return period is about we are building solid foundation. You cannot build solid foundation with not solid materials, right? Not quality materials. So you need quality and, 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 and solid. You need people... You need quality people. You need a quality job. You need a qual quality, everything that is of quality. For it, it really depends because during our Saturn return, we are really growing up. We are, we are becoming an adult. Um, so we are facing a lot of adult situations um, that we've never had to deal with before. For example, um, it can be very positive or, again, it can be very negative. So, for example, we may become parents for the first time. That's a very Saturn return period that uh, a lot of people may become parents during this, this time. And it's, it is difficult and challenging, but positive at the same time. At the same time, the negative side of Saturn return, for example, it may be a huge uh, romantic breakup. For example, we have been with our uh, romantic partner for 10 years and this relationship is over now during the Saturn return because it's not, uh, this is not your person, for example. Uh, or uh, even divorces uh, are a, a, a Saturn return uh, it may happen during a Saturn return, very pivotal, dramatic changes. It may happen in all spheres of your life. It may happen in your family that you may have to take care of uh, parents or grandparents, or it, there may be a death in the family. That's a very um, harsh reality that we have to deal with uh, as adults um, during Saturn retrograde. Um, it may be that we are graduating uh, university or, or, or a, or a long-term um, course, for example. It may be that we are starting um, something like that. Um, it may be a moment that we are buying a property or we are selling a property. But a lot of huge changes may happen. We may relocate to another country, we may um, start a serious relationship, uh, we may get engaged, we may get married, uh, we, as we've talked about, we may divorce or break up also. So it's a very um, mixed bag. I don't want to say that Saturn, the Saturn return period is uh, only positive or only negative, no, no. <laughs> And also, I think we, you can always ask people who are a little bit older, um, how was their time between 29 and 31 or 30 and 33 and to 31, 34 to see it really depends when this Saturn uh, return uh, has started. But you can really see in real life what kind of different changes, uh, huge changes. And, and how this made the people grow up. For a lot of people, it may feel, this Saturn return period, especially the first one, it may be a very isolating, lonely experience because it's your karma. Nobody else is involved. Um, so it's all the lessons and um, the issues and the things that you have to deal with. Nobody else is at fault here. It's your fault. And that's why honesty and, and being direct and being very honest with yourself is something that you can, you can actually go through the Saturn return with that. Um, being completely honest. So during the Saturn return period, I think a lot of people going through the Saturn return can feel very lonely. Like, I'm the only person who is dealing with depression. I am the only person who is going through this 
a divorce. I am the only person who uh, gave birth and is feeling very isolated, for example, because this is very difficult, for example. So these are, you, you, we can feel all very alone, very isolated, but the truth is that we're not. There are other people who are dealing with, it may not be the same situation, but it's a similar situation and we, are, we're, we have all dealt with some kind of stuff like that. Um, so it's very, it may be very difficult, it may be very challenging, but at the same time, it's a very growing experience. So in a, in a, a, in a lot of times, you have to, during the Saturn return period, you have to keep the faith and you have to be reminded that this is a period and it's temporary. And yeah, so one of the... Uh, let's go to the probably kind of the, the best part of this video <laughs> is the advices and um, kind of my suggestions uh, how a Saturn return may become uh, easier or not easier but a little bit more uh, how you can how you can take care of yourself during uh, your Saturn return. One of the first things that come to my mind when I think about the Saturn return and the Saturn return period is taking care of yourself. This period can be very difficult and challenging. We may have, we may have a lot more responsibilities and we might take care of more than we, we have ever thought about. So having more responsibilities and taking care of more things, we may not even have the time to take care of ourselves. But it's very important because um, Saturn is, also, as we talked about, connected with time. So 29 and 30 is like you're becoming 30. You're becoming, there is um, a psychological thing into turning 30. And we may start to see uh, the little wrinkles, the little white hairs, you may get little pains and, and, and some, some, some stuff, your back may be hurting. So you dealing with all those little signs of getting older, not old, getting older, is uh, a Saturn return thing. Um, it's also the end of a decade, the end of the 20s. Uh, so you're kind of looking back and it really depends how you're feeling about this and uh, what have you built, what have you done. Um, and Saturn Return is kind of cleaning the, all the slates and uh, destroying everything and going, okay, we're starting over. <laughs> we're going to build a solid foundation uh, uh, or Saturn, the Saturn Return period can go nice job you have done very good for yourself and now you're, you're going to kind of reap the rewards for it uh i have personally witnessed very different saturn returns of people i have seen a lot of very sudden and shocking breakups that were incredibly difficult uh, I have witnessed people taking care of uh, their family members. I have witnessed people taking care of uh, their uh, newborns and toddlers. Uh, I have witnessed people creating businesses uh, or being, becoming bankrupt because they have started businesses and it didn't work out. Uh, so it's, this is a very, uh, those huge periods of time. So during this Saturn return period, taking care of ourselves may sound the last thing that we need to do, but we need to do it because a lot of things are happening uh, and they are very sudden and they are very drastic. So it may seem like we don't have the time for it. For example, if you have a newborn and you have to take care of the newborn, 
I cannot go and work out for one hour every day. Like I, I need to, I have no time for this. Like I need to take care of stuff. Uh, and we have to find a routine that works for us. That's very important. Taking care of ourselves, taking care of the quality, realizing that we're not actually eternal and immortal. We're actually mortal human beings and then you have to take care of your packet. <laughs> okay, you have to take care of your human body because you're starting to see how it oh my back hurts or oh i have to stretch before i clean now like okay that's new <laughs> okay uh so taking care of ourselves not only the physical body but also our mental body um our mental psychological and emotional self managing our emotions um finding routines just a little bit that will help us, will ground us, will center us, uh, doing the things that we love, going back to ourselves. Uh, so the Saturn return period may feel very like we are lost, we don't, we don't really know what is happening, we are at the, the mercy of something bigger than us, but it's important to go back to things that we love to do, so that to keep our spirits uh, motivated and um, excited taking care of ourselves respecting the fact that we are getting older i think that's very important also um saturn is connected with our bones teeth also so we have to be careful with that also um for a lot of people during especially during our first saturn return a lot of medical issues or health issues may come up for the first time uh, because we are getting older and we need more uh, to take care of ourselves more. Uh, that is one of the first things that I'm going to say. The second thing is, I think, very important during to survive the Saturn return. Understanding how to keep positive thinking. Saturn may be a very difficult energy it may feel like um, a mental prison or very isolating depressive um, very strict uh, and it may feel like you are doing so much you are working so hard and nobody is seeing it. there are absolutely no results and you we have to keep some kind of routine about how am I going to keep my spirit positive? How am I going to keep me into positive thinking without being delusional? <laughs> At this point, delusional is not the solution during the Saturn return because the more delusional we are, that daddy Saturn doesn't like that, okay? <laughs> Saturn as the strict daddy, no, his karma, his time, the more delusional you are, the more pushy Saturn you get and the more tests it may give you. So being as realistic and pragmatic as possible, logical, long-term thinking, um, this is not the time to be kind of uh, happy-go-lucky because it's a time to be an adult and take uh, responsibility and uh, being accountable and being honest with yourself so being delusional unfortunately <laughs> it may not work during the Saturn return period um, so keeping positive thinking keeping your mind uh, grounded and centered uh, so if we have to take care of our physical body we also have to be very aware of being realistic but at the same time positive, because Saturn may be too much reality, okay? Um, another thing that is important, I think, to say is that Saturn, as we've talked about, is, is connected with karma. So during our Saturn return, we may meet people who are older than us, significant, significantly, for example, over 50 years old, over 55, over 60 years. We may meet people who, they may be our colleagues, our bosses, our managers, 
we may need family members for example um, we may need people who are in older stages of their lives and we may um, gain a lot of knowledge from them and this is maybe something that some people have never done before um, for example you may start working with colleagues that are older and you've never worked in a the job like that that you more like half of your colleagues are uh, 60 years old uh, so it really gives an opportunity to learn from them um, and to see what the future may hold for you uh, and to understand um, that other people also have gone through their Saturn returns. I think it's important to say that because Saturn is so karmic, during the Saturn return, I really believe that. Um, I don't think anything is a coincidence, specifically during the Saturn return periods, and specifically talking of, uh, when talking about people. I don't think people are randomly <laughs> Uh, there when you meet them during your Saturn return you may meet your future spouse you may meet your future friends support group you may meet your future best friend uh, again you may uh, you may break up with your uh, long-term partner so during the Saturn return people come and people go and you meet people who I think are very karmic uh, and I, I truly believe that during the Saturn return period, you're given an opportunity to learn. Uh, it may be very out of your comfort. <laughs> and it may be things that you don't want to learn because they're so adult-like, uh, but you're going to be given this opportunity. Um, I think also During the Saturn return, it's important to say that you have to think long term. And this is something that may be very difficult because the Saturn return is a difficult, most, most, for most people, it's a difficult, challenging time. Um, but the Saturn return is, is starting to push you to think long term. And this may be something that you've never done before. This may be something that you don't really know how to do. So you are given opportunities to patiently and strategically think through. Being critical, being patient, being slow, <laughs> it may be for the first time in your life um, that being slow and patient and uh, critical is more than is better than being quick so during the saturn return uh i think that's kind of the last thing about surviving the saturn return is that uh, this period is that time may feel to the person in, during the saturn return period Time may feel like time has stopped. I have said that multiple times. I'll continue saying it because Saturn is so slow moving. And when it's affecting you specifically with the Saturn return, it feels like nothing is happening. And at the same time, a lot of things are happening. But it's very difficult to realize it at the moment. So maybe after three years when you look back into this period you will say oh i've done a lot of things i have done things that i've never done before i have changed so much from three years ago but during those three three years period the, the saturn return it's like nothing is nothing is is working it may feel like you're stuck in a job, you're stuck in a relationship you're stuck in a period of your life you're stuck in a city you you cannot move, you're limited, you, you are heavy. Uh, it almost feels like that mental prison that I, I talked about, that you cannot, you cannot, you don't have enough. So um, 
it may feel very heavy and confusing and uh, difficult and time has stopped and nothing is moving but Saturn delays and never but never forgets so your hard work will be paid off but it may be uh, in the future <laughs> it, it's not going to be in two days because Saturn delays uh, and our long-term thinking, we are starting to activate it and we're starting to do a lot of uh, Saturn return. During the Saturn return, critical thinking, long-term thinking, some things that we have probably never done before. Uh, and understanding that just because it feels so much, uh, we have to find our support group whether that is family, romantic partnerships, friendships. But during the Saturn return, it's very important to know that you're not alone. You're not experiencing, the, you're not the only person on the planet to experience this. That's why it's helpful to look at older people, and especially people who are decades older than you. There is a lot of wisdom between generations to be, to be kind of transferred in both ways. Um, and yeah, um, and I just wanted to say that it is a period, it is a pivotal time period. It is, I think, very dramatic and very, uh, huge in the, in the lives of people, but it's a period. So when our Saturn return ends, everybody will have uh, a fresh air to breathe and you will turn around and you will see how much you have changed and how much you have grown up. And this may be visible to other people. It may not be visible to you at the moment, but um, yeah, it is guaranteed. <laughs> Thank you for being with me.